Hi guys, this is a video response. Well, it's a video more inspired by my friend Emo Pal Strawberry, Strawberry spelled with an I, who does videos that are called the Learning Bento. Um, in her video, she talks about accessories and stuff like that that you can actually get in the United States. Um, but today, I'm going to talk to you guys about accessories that I've bought online and. Um, if you plan on buying bento accessories online, things that I think you should watch out for. Okay, first I'm going to start with the products that I think are really good. Um, this is a two-tier bento. Um, this is one that I got at a Japanese supermarket in Seattle. Um, I use this every day, and it's microwave safe, and it's very good quality and it stores just enough food. So when you're buying one of these, the prices range on them. Like my friend Emil Strawberry says, there are um, very cheap bentos that sometimes you can get at dollar stores and stuff like that. I actually remember when they did that, um, but she made her video in 2007, so it might be a little bit harder for you to find them. Um, you know, you can always use like Tupperware boxes, stuff like that for your own bento. But if you want to get a traditional, you know, cutesy Japanese bento, it's probably something that you're going to have to order online. Um, this one, I believe, was about $20. Um, but, you know, the way that I see it, you know, if it costs $20, you should be able to use it at least 20 times. That's kind of the way that I look at things. Um, and I've definitely used this more than 20 times, so it's been worth the price. Next, I'm going to show you this really nifty, cute, um, smiley face hole puncher for toasted nori. What you do is, as you've seen me do before, you put the toasted nori inside of this, in this little butt here. You punch it, and you get a smiley face that comes out. Um, these are very useful if you want to, like, spice up your onigiri or vegetables or whatever you want to use. They're predominantly used for onigiri. Um, and the... I mean, these are really good quality. Another thing that you can actually use if you don't want to buy one of these online because, well, the shipping and stuff like that's kind of expensive, I recommend that you um, look at like a scrapbooking store or something and they have those same hole puncher things. The third awesome product that I want to show you, something that I've actually shown you before, is this onigiri mold, which is something that I bought off of jbox.com. This is definitely a worthwhile product. They are um, dishwasher safe, and all you have to do is put the little bit of rice, a little bit of you know whatever you want to put in it, salmon, tuna, whatever, more rice, sesame seeds, squash, and then boom, done. You have the perfect onigiri, and um, typically they fit in bentos just fine, um, so I recommend getting these. This product, which I also got at jbox.com, everything in this video that I'm showing you, I got at jbox.com except for my bento box. I did combine shipping, so the chip, shipping was actually pretty cheap altogether. I wouldn't recommend ordering things off of jbox individually because the shipping usually comes out to about 10 bucks because it's from Japan. So um, try combining your shipping, and because the products themselves are really cheap. Um, this is a smaller onigiri mold. Um, you put your rice, your salmon, you know, whatever you want, put the top on, squish, and you have a small frog or bear shaped onigiri. You can also use food coloring in the rice if you want to, if you want to get detailed. Um, these are really good products if you want to make things really cute and small. Um, you know, you can make sushi-like little bears, you know. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a cute, cute product if that's what you're going for. Lastly, I want to show you this little bag that I ordered from jbox.com. What you do is, you put your bento box in here, and in utensils, and then you seal, not seal, Use the drawstring up, push it inside, 
And you have this cute little bag that you can carry your bento around in. And it's by um, Live in Comfort. And you can get this off of jbox.com. It's very nice. Now it's time to talk about some products you should watch out for. Products that I don't think are worth the money. And I think you should buy something else. Do you know what this is? It's a side dish divider. And you put it inside your bento. And it's supposed to hold side dishes. When I ordered this, I expected it to be about the size of this. I don't know what you can put in this that would be a portion of a side dish. And um, the only thing you can really do with this, in my opinion, is if you're serving some onigiri for someone or serving something that has like a dipping sauce with it, you can put the dipping sauce inside. But um, they're really flimsy and they spill easily and I really don't recommend these particularly. Um, they do have their uses, but I don't think they're really worth it. Okay, secondly, I, I think you should avoid flimsy. spending yeah. money on buying the expensive sandwich cutters online. This is not one of the expensive sandwich cutters. This is just a regular cookie cutter. What's the difference between a regular cookie cutter and one of the special sandwich cutters on a site where you can order bento box stuff? Absolutely nothing. Most American households have cookie cutters. And, or, you know, I know most people have a pretty big assortment of cookie cutters. So just use those. You can actually use cookie cutters for quite a few things. Um, you know, if you can't, if you don't feel like going out and getting an onigiri mold, what you can do is you can put this down flat, put rice in it, and you can actually make onigiri with cookie cutters. Um, so yeah, using cookie cutters instead of those fancy sandwich cutters is a pretty good idea, um, because they work exactly the same, and they're both made out of plastic. So yeah, there's no reason to go out and buy it. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I hope this video was informative, and if you plan on going on jbox.com or anywhere else to buy bento supplies, I hope it helped you make your decision. Okay, bye.